hast thou with him spread out the sky which is strong and as a molten looking glass? It's a long fly ball going back, back, and the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. And the ball shatters the sky. Hast thou with him spread out the sky which is strong and as a molten looking glass, glass, glass? And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Johnston Island was the center of launch and experimental activity for the 1962 high-altitude weapon effects testing termed Operation Fishbowl. Of the five fishbowl shots, the highest burst was the 400-kilometer starfish event, launched by a pod-carrying Thor missile. Its yield was 1.4 megatons. In addition to the local phenomena, the transport of bomb debris and other charged particles in the magnetic field produced colorful aurora, arcing into the northern and southern conjugate regions. Of the five fishbowl shots, the highest burst was the 400-kilometer starfish event, launched by a pod-carrying Thor missile. In addition to the local phenomena, the transport of bomb debris and other charged particles in the magnetic field produced colorful aurora, arcing into the northern and southern conjugate regions. Let's help her out here. Let's break the glass ceiling. On the second day, he placed the heaven over the whole world and separated it from the other parts and he determined it should stand by itself. He also placed a crystalline firmament, crystalline firmament, crystalline firmament round it, and put it together in a manner agreeable to the earth, and fitted it for giving moisture and rain, and for affording the advantage of dews. Fishbowl, fishbowl, fishbowl. He also placed a crystalline firmament round it and put it together in a manner agreeable to the earth and fitted it for giving moisture and rain 
and for affording the advantage of news. This week, Long Island's own Jasmine Mugbelli is set to conduct a critical spacewalk. Mugbelli is supposed to remove one piece of hardware on the exterior of the International Space Station and replace another apparatus. She's going to do it alongside fellow astronaut Laurel O'Hara. It is just the second time two women will be on a spacewalk together. I just love that so much. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. And Luca, just for you guys, uh, based on what we heard with Lucas saying that uh, water is in his eyes now and it seems to be increasing, uh, we think we're going to terminate EVA case for EV2. So, Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. Chris, we'll get a plan for you to uh, clean things up here and then join him here in a minute. It feels like a lot of water. Water? In his helmet? Yes, if there's enough water, he, he uh, certainly had that risk today, and that's why we took it so seriously. That's right. She said Luca Parmitano was in danger of drowning in his spacesuit, orbiting 260 miles above planet Earth. And so for every hour that we spent outside in the back of the space, we spent about seven hours underwater, making sure that we knew exactly how things were going to be. There's a full-scale mock-up, as you guys saw, there's a full-scale mock-up of the space station down there. When confronted with blatant NASA lies and obvious globe inconsistencies, the number one most common frequently asked question is undoubtedly, but why would anyone lie about the shape of the Earth? For what purpose would there be a multi-generational, worldwide conspiracy to cover up the truth of our home? Why would NASA spend billions of dollars building rockets just to prank the population about outer space? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Strong delusion, strong delusion, strong delusion, strong delusion. What's the purpose? To create a world religion. What do you think NASA is? What do you think the spinning ball earth, universe, big bang, evolution, bullshit is? It's a religion. People believe this shit and it doesn't exist. They're making you believe in a bullshit science fiction religion. That's why. You don't even know that you're in a cult. You don't know that you've been brainwashed and how deeply you've been brainwashed. Think about how effective this religion is. It's worldwide. It is a world religion. They have successfully created a worldwide religion and made people the whole world over believe in it. They teach it to them in government schools and they're so indoctrinated into this religion they have no idea that it's a religion. That's the point, they call it science. They have no idea that they're in a cult being brainwashed by a bunch of CGI pictures and fairy tales. In order to adjust something, and you can see on the back of his shirt a couple of upticks on either side where you would expect wires to come in on either side of that harness. So why the Flat Earth Deception? It's the most successful religious indoctrination in history. That's why. 